Okay, uh, now that MAME uh, point one seven two is out, and they've made a lot of changes to HLSL, I thought it would be a good idea to make a video to show you um, how to uh, you know take full advantage of it, and make it look its best. So um, I have a fresh uh, MAME uh, install here. I'm going to create the INI file. And uh, let's take a look at this sucker. So here, here's all the basic stuff you want to do. Um, set your ROM path. Turn off sleep because sleep destroys main performance. Um, we want uh, to turn on VSync. And then we're going to enable HLSL. Okay, so let, let's take a, oh, actually, then I want to do, I want to set the pause brightness at one so that I can like show you kind of a before and after here. Okay, so first thing to notice with the settings, Jesus, um, what the hell is wrong? Like this background in Street Fighter 2 is supposed to be solid black and looking at it, that is not black. Okay, so that's problem number one. Um, let, let's take a look though at uh, how this looks. Holy crap, that's bloomed out. Um, actually, you know, I want to show you the intro because I think the intro will really illustrate how bloomed out the default settings are. Oh my god, look at those two guys in the front. Look at how bloomed out they are, Jesus. And look at how blurry the screen is when it moves. All right, so how are we gonna fix this mess? Um, let's, uh, let's reset this thing again. And, and, and I'll show you, but like, okay, so, okay. So right here, this is supposed to be black. Here's what, you, here's what you're going to want to do. Your slider controls, and eventually in your I and I, that's what you're going to want to do. If you go to um, red, green, and blue floor, you can see how it's set at 0 .05. No! No! Always zero. Always. Zero. 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 Oh! 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 Back in black. Back in black dot flack. Um, I have no idea why they pick these stupid default settings. They're always crap. They always look terrible. Okay, so so we just improved the image about a thousand times just by changing three things. Okay, so that's fine. Uh, it's it's better, but oh god, it's bloomed out. Um, Let's fix uh, the okay. L look at this bloom scale. This thing is bloomed out so much. It's just ridiculous. Okay, let me look at how much you can turn this down. Oh, oh, oh. We're we're starting to actually look good. Yeah, yeah, good. There we go. That is an appropriate level of bloom. Um, okay, so that that's that's good. That, that, that looks better. Oh God! Okay, screen is blurry as hell when it moves. What's going on? L look at look at what they set here. They set the phosphor life on red, green, and blue to 0.5. Um, okay, so l let's just think about the logic that went into this. If you have an LCD monitor, HLSL helps uh, you know your uh, games look better. But LCD monitors are really blurry. Therefore, we should make the default settings increase the blur even more. I, I, I don't get it either. I, I really don't get it. Okay, so screw you, screw you, screw you. All zero on Phosphor Life. Not, see, not as blurry, not as blurry when scrolling. Okay, so, um, and, and we're almost there. We're, we're almost getting there. Um, you notice it, let, 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 let's, Get into a game just so we can see it. Even though we're looking pretty good already, looking pretty decent, um, we we can still yeah. See, look at how soft the picture is. 
it, it's it's way too soft. No, you know, uh, CRT arcade monitor in good shape would look like this. This is almost looking like S video on on, the, on an NTSC uh, television or something. So, what's going on there is um, the uh, yeah. Look at this defocus setting. Set no, no, not not one actually. Point eight maybe. That that's about that's about it is yeah. Yeah, that's about as high as I would go. Uh, because you want some crispness, you know, that, that's the thing that a lot of people miss about CRT arcade monitors is that um, they are actually pretty damn crisp when they're in good shape. I mean, they are, they are not soft. They are, they are not soft when they're in decent shape. So, so already, just by changing a few things, we've transmogrified this image from burnt ass to, um, you know, pretty decent. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm actually like, you know, moderately happy with it. I mean, we we could potentially tweak the saturation a little bit. There might be just a hair too much saturation. Um, we could probably, uh, yeah, we could probably take it down to like, yeah, that's probably okay. Man, this thing needs ASIO big time. There's so much audio latency on default main. I mean, you can just, you can just speak, you, I mean, really, you can just tell how delayed the sound is. There, there's, it's just, yeah, yeah I mean, there, there's no going back. There's no going back from low audio latency. It's just out of the box main isn't acceptable anymore. Okay, so but in any case, that's pretty much what you're going to want to do. So let's recap here. To fix HLSL settings, default settings, floor is zero. Phosphor life is zero. Bloom scale should be at around 0.2 or, or less. Um, defocus should not be higher than uh, 0.8. Um, and uh, your bloom scale, you know, once again, you know, you know keep, keep that uh, under control there. And um, yes, yeah, so the rest of the settings actually aren't really that bad. You know, they're 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 pretty palatable. So so with the improvements that they made to HLSL, it's not so bad anymore. I mean, you know, even at twenty five sixty by fourteen forty, it's actually looking pretty decent now. Um, in four K, this probably looks great. I should try it on on the four K monitor because it probably looks pretty nice. You know, the the scan lines are much more even than they used to be. Um, we, we we probably could. I, I think we could screw around with the gamma a little bit. You know, we, we could probably go down to like 0.9 or possibly even 0.8 gamma. It's pretty, it's pretty damn bright. Um, that could just be this monitor, but uh, let, let, let's let's try it. Let, let's see, uh, you know, what we get out of that. That's yeah, that's the baby. So yeah, because it was it, it was it was really bright. Um, yeah, so really yeah, actually it's looking pretty good. So HLSL, I would say it gets the big blue seal of approval as of 0.172. It's actually looking pretty decent now. Uh, good job, guys, on improving this. And, you know, as always, Mame you know continues to get better. I mean, I mean, really, I would be okay with dumping OpenGL in the lot shade with this. I think it's. It's pretty much acceptable at this point, um, and, and it's only going to get better as you get in with like a 4K monitor. So yeah, that, that's that's pretty nice. Um, you, you know, the scan lines are just an absolutely gigantic improvement over the previous version. That's huge. You know, it looks way better. Um, I mean, I mean, we could even pretend. I mean, you could take the focus down to probably even like point. It's point seven. It could be. I think it could be like a little bit more crisp. It, it, it probably could. Um, you know, you know a, lot, a lot of it, a lot of it's taste, but it's like you, you've got to fix basic stuff though, like like the blacks. You know, black should be as close to black as, as you can possibly get. Um, yeah, so so basically that's you know my take on the HLSL changes in 0.172. Almost there, looking pretty good. Big improvement. Uh, yeah.